the compressed air in a scuba cylinder, free diving is entirely relying on the oxygen you can dissolve into your blood and your muscles and that you can keep in your lungs. And the best way of doing that is to reduce your heart rate, to be super calm and relaxed. And when you're underwater to use as little energy as you possibly can. Every extra flick of the fins gives you less time underwater because it burns more energy, burns more oxygen. So it's all about, in all this madness, finding that moment of calm and just relaxing. So effectively, you're mimicking the movements of the sharks because they're the ultimate when it comes to energy consumption. It's one of those things with wildlife filmmaking. The things you don't expect, the things you don't plan are often the moments that you'll remember for the rest of your life. The tiger shark is a top apex predator, but they're also like caretakers of these seas. So they focus on taking animals which are sick, injured, dying, and also on taking out rotting, decaying corpses. In fact, they're one of the most essential parts of the puzzle in keeping these ecosystems healthy. It's been with us for quite a while now and appears to be fairly relaxed. So I'm just gonna try calmly and carefully to get in the water and see what happens. <laughs> there was one shark that had been cruising around us for the whole dive and had this great long line of hooks and teasers hanging off it and I was trying and trying and trying to cut it loose. And then right at the end of the dive, there she was, just swam right up to me and uh, I managed to cut her free. And that great big long monofilament line would have been with that shark, well, until she died.